sufficiently hyped up to go to a rave. Let's bring it back down. <laughs> um, I was telling this. I was telling the story. Well, sort of like getting implying this last night, but saying that when we first started out, Sarah and I couldn't afford to bring a band. So even though our records had a band on it, we had to just tour the two of us and to kill time in between songs or to win people over, we would tell stories. You know, we invested in getting a band and, and, and we would come and rock out and then afterwards people would come up and be like, the show was great, but my god, you guys are so funny, you should tell more stories. And we were like, god damn it. Uh, um, and then, you know, like when we would get touring and we'd get sick, like one of us, I mean, I can't even tell you, countless times Sarah and I, each of us would get turns, take turns getting sinus infections and food poisoning. And the good thing about being in a band with each other was that Sarah would just, she would take care of the rest of the set. She would kind of, like one time I played a show just laying on the ground. Because to cancel the show was ultimately the worst thing we could imagine doing to our audience. So even if I had to leave repeatedly to use the restroom, as long as I was physically on the stage and people could see me, I was like, that counts. You hear these stories all the time about bands who are like, my throat hurts, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, our audience will make it up to you, we're just not going to do the show. If I had said to Sarah, my, I'm so sick, I'm so sick, she was like, I don't care. <laughs> You're getting on that stage. Um, but what we would do is we would just, we would talk, and the audience would respond, and it made us so happy, it made us feel like we really made it. just turn everything up really loud and just keep playing, keep your head down and be done. But, you know, we would have these long stretches where we'd be like, blah, 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 blah. And if people listened and they didn't, if they didn't talk through it, then we knew that we'd come off stage and be like, we made it. We've done it. We're superstars. Even if there was 30 people there, we were like, we're the best. Um, anyway, this uh, next section of songs was sort of like where we felt a tremendous change happen and, and all of a sudden we saw our audience really grow and it was a very, very exciting time and we used to talk a lot during this time. I'm going to try not to talk too much, but I'll just tell you that this record that we're going to play songs off of came out 10 years ago. There's a few people here who look like they could be 10 years old, so... This one's also, I want to dedicate this one to the, to the, the angsty people. <laughs> There's a few of them I keep seeing. Some of the people who cheer for angsty, just so you know you don't look angsty. <laughs> What's that? Hold on, I gotta pull this out. I can't hear you. What'd you say? You guys just got engaged? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. No, I'm just kidding. You guys will be happy. You're gonna be happy. No, no, no. That's great. That's how long have you been dating for? A year. Oh wow. You guys in a rush? <laughs> who asked who? You did? It says stay calm and marry me. So you just stay buttoned up until then you just butt. You're like, stay calm and marry me. That's how you. Can that's your engagement story. Can I ask you an honest question? The only people. This is before, huge. It's before, incredible. Congratulations, you guys. That's amazing. Before, that's great. Before gay people could actually get married, normally if, I, if a straight couple was like, we just got engaged, we've only been together a year, I was like, so you knocked. Knocked. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, well, that just seems crazy. I hope you guys have had a good. I hope you guys have had lots of fun in your youth. I'm glad that, uh, that this concert could be your engagement party. Um, well, that's a very good surprise. Did anyone else get engaged while we were playing? Anyone else? Anyone else? Some people back there. You guys should partner up and do a co-registry. <laughs> Save money, you guys. Um, all right. Well, I want to dedicate this to all. I'm not going to dedicate it to the very happy and love people. I'm going to not to you guys, but much love to you. I'm going to I'm going to send this one out to all our singles in the house. Yeah! Put your hands up to look around. Maybe you'll meet your. Maybe you'll be getting engaged as you get to a the year. <laughs> yeah, take each other's numbers. We've got the Tinder out. Single solidarity. And put, your, yeah, put your pitsy Tinder on. All right, here we go. Yes. 
Sylvie T. Ellis, she knows I broke down and wrote you back before you had a chance to Forget the garden line, moving past the skating notice I have to go, yes I know the feeling, know you need me Calm down, I'm for you to say I'm capsized, standing on the edge of safe Calm down, I'm for you to say I'm hoping that I'm coming around Sir 